going on, you bunch of nerds? <laughs> All right. So, Cannabis Plus. The mod updated to version 3. The process is different now. So we're going to go over it. I'm still going to go from the basics for the new players on the server and other servers for that matter. <coughs> so you guys know how to do it. Alright. Let's get rid of this garden plot to start off. Your first step take a shovel put down a garden plot. Now you can use a greenhouse also on this server they're on the trader and spawn on the map. Alright. Take your seeds, put them in hand. I like to stand in the center. And plant them. Oh, somebody killed the dark horde. Nice. Alright. I ran out of seeds. It's fine. Now, because this one. I oh, know I didn't. I'm just freaking old and I forget stuff. <laughs> Alright, take water. As you can see, it changes. Means it's going to grow now. You can add fertilizer to this on Trader and on the map. Allegedly it speeds up the process. If you put your base by a lake or a river, it's actually very helpful so you can get water. If not, you can get some at wells and fill up containers. Alright, that's just to show the basics for you guys that don't know. It's going to end up being like that. Okay? Alright, now we need a drying post. Bah, I didn't spawn a log. Alright, so you're going to need a log. And rope. Take the log and the rope. Combine it. My suggestion is always put this close so you can drag and drop your items. I wouldn't get too close. Sometimes things will bug out. It's daisy. It's full of bugs. Okay. Okay. Alright. There you go. There's your drying post. Gather your plants. see why I did put that close. You can just drag and drop. You don't have to move it back and forth to your inventory. Okay. Oh, okay. This slot is not activated yet. Eventually you'll be able to stack plants in there, dried plants. Alright. You can see it shows on there. Hit leave the dry. Now that's going to take five minutes. It was set at 5 seconds by accident. So 8 minutes grow time, 5 minutes dry time. It used to be 15 minutes grow time. So actually a little faster, 13 minutes. I did that because the process is, you know, it might be a little bit longer, but it's a lot less hassle with this new mod. Okay? 
Now, for the purpose of this video, let's see if we got some buds on here. And we don't. Alright. Alright. Now, when these are done drying, it's actually going to come out like this. They'll just come down in this container. Okay. Nothing to it. It's not quite enough. And no, this is not a cheat tool, it's just an admin tool, guys. I don't even play on this character. I have a playable without it. It's honestly too boring and no challenge with this tool. It's just for helping out players. He's literally a tool. <laughs> Alright, so when, even when that gets done, it's going to throw more in here. Okay, now we need a workbench. You can find it on the map, or buy it on the trader, or take 10 planks, and I believe it's roughly 20 nails. Now mine's got different options here because I've got different mods. Craft your bench. You can see the plants are growing over there. Little sprouts. Again, try to put it close so you can drag and drop. Alright, now we've got a bench. Now, based on the server, this battery can be turned off. I got it turned on, but it doesn't use much battery at all. Place your bagger in there, your wrapper. On this server you can find these again on the map or the trader. I like to do both. For you guys that don't like trader, you can still find what you need on the map. Okay. Now, let's step over here in between. Okay, take your buds. Throw them up in here. Unfortunately, they only stack in twos, so it's a little tedious. Alright, that should be enough, anyhow. Alright, then you're going to need empty bags. Found on map or trader, same thing. Drag your empty bags over. As you can see, they come 16 in a stack. Right, that's plenty. Alright. Then hit fill bag with skunk. It's going to do this every five seconds. It's going to make, make them into a baggie here. These are growing pretty fast. Eight minutes doesn't take too long. Heck, even the drying post has got to be close. It's five minutes, so. Alright. Tick tock. Let's go. Well, we're waiting for a second. If you guys are interested in trying another server out, uh, the description will be in the description will be the name of the server. We are mostly PVE, but we are also PVP. You can see here 
We have a PVZ mod in to control PVE and PVP. All the red areas are PVP. And we do have a black market. See, PVP, PVP, PVP. Helicopter crash sites and airdrops are also temporary PVP zones. Um, for you guys that only want PVE, you can roam freely around here. Can you be shot and killed? Of course you can. But if the guy shoots you, he gets a bounty on his head, he gets marked on the map, and they collect a reward. Plain and simple. Right, let's see what we got. We're ready to go. Alright, so now we got our bags down here. Take your plastic wrap at Trader or on map. Put it right there. And wrap. Now what it's going to do is going to take those. 16 of them. Take 16 to make one. And you now have a brick to sell. Okay? Nothing to it. Alright, there's... I do believe it's eight different types of this. And that's it. Um, I think it's a better process than before. There's a little bit more involved. But... You can leave it on auto and go away and do things and come back. That's what I like about it. Now, you can see these are still wrenched, and that's probably because of this. No, because it's still got baggies in there, too. That's why. So, in order to pick these back up, if you want to move, you're going to have to pull out your materials. That's all there is to it, guys. I think this version is a lot better than the old one. A little bit more involved, but it's better. Um, on this server, I would say it's your biggest money maker, except for one other item. Uh, on this server, you can make money hunting, pelts and meat sell, growing vegetables, and garden plots like that. Um, st stealing vehicles if you want. Selling them if you can break into them with a lockpick because they're locked cars with keys. Um, selling car parts. Selling guns. And selling weed. And then the new one is Beehive. We installed. So a lot of ways to make money in PvP and PvE for that matter. Alright, that's the end of this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. Help support the channel. I'm only like five months old right now. The channel's going good. You can see the server's going good. There's only 11 on round. This is not our peak time. We typically run during the day around this, 10 or 11, and then at night it goes as high as 15 and I've seen it as high as 30 it's random I would say our you know our average would definitely be 15 or 20 but we're only five months in we are a new server got a good group here real good good group and for you guys that are on the server thank you you made a good server here it's not just me it matters what type of people are on the server Alright, I'm out of here. Later.